the top skill position groups in the entire NFL. So that's taking the quarterback out of the equation, take the O-line out, looking at running backs, receivers, and tight ends. And I will say, it seems like this list, they put a little bit more weight on the wide receivers, just given the way the game is played nowadays. But of all 32 teams, the Vikings rank fourth on the list, highlighted by Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, and of course, the long-awaited return of Irv Smith Jr. What does it mean when it comes to new expectations of Kevin O'Connell and the toys he has to hit the ground running with this special group of playmakers? Just how explosive could this offense be in 2022? Because remember, Vikings fans are used to Mike Zimmer playing this slow-paced, run-the-ball conservative game and try to, if you're up one score, just try to run off the clock. The way the game is played nowadays, Sam, you've seen it. Teams try to run up the score by two, three, four touchdowns. They try to get to 40 points as fast as they can. Vikings fans just aren't used to seeing that. Could we see that with all the toys Kevin O'Connell now has to play with in this offense? Yeah, I just think that Kevin O'Connell is going to use the full breadth of his talent. I I think that Mike Zimmer Mm -hmm. and Vikings teams recently have leaned almost too heavily on their stars. They've leaned far too hard on Dalvin Cook, and they leaned hard on you know Thielen and Diggs, Thielen and Jefferson. And until K.J. Osborne came around last year, didn't really have great wide receiver production from their depth pieces, didn't use their backup running backs very smartly, didn't use their backup tight ends very smartly. Like Irv Smith, even, for his first two years, was underutilized. I think Kevin O'Connell is going to use everybody. So I think that, I mean, I know Ron Johnson, my co-host, he's he's saying 18 touchdowns for J.J., 10 for Thielen, 10 <laughs> for Oz. Like, he, he thinks that the stars are going to come out. You get some, you get some, you get some. He's probably right. He's probably right. But I could see also more of a, of a divvying up approach where mm-hmm. your wide receiver, like Amir Smith-Marset might get more involved. Kane Wanglu certainly getting more involved, as you've talked about. Um, whoever the backup tight end ends up being, I don't know, mm-hmm. will probably get involved too. I just think that there's going to be more plays run, there's going to be more creativity on offense, maybe a little better tempo mm-hmm. to where they're bringing in, like, then the Rams did this. The Rams would have line changes where in the huddle, they would send off, like, their running back, their tight end, two wide receivers, and get a whole new line into the game where you couldn't predict defensively what the formation was going to be at any given moment. I love that. I love watching the Rams execute things. And that's something that you can do with any quarterback. Like, that was a Jared Goff thing. That's how Jared Goff, they got the most out of him, is because the personnel was so creative around him. I think that O'Connell needs to do more of that. And if it means occasionally taking a really good player like Cooker Thielen off the field to get fresh legs and a new look and to confuse defenses, that's what I want to see. And that's why I think this is a, a certainly a top five uh, skill position team. A lot of great points there, stemming off that just a little bit. We talk all the time about, okay, Kevin O'Connell's going to scheme and draw up guys like Justin Jefferson and Dalvin Cook wide open. Well, vice versa, there's a balance to that. And when those guys are just simply getting double and triple covered, a great coach will find another mismatch, like the names you mentioned. Could be KJ, could be Irv Smith, could be a backup tight end, whoever it may be. He's going to find those weaknesses and exploit them. Going to be very interesting. Vikings training camp officially underway. Sam, are you going to be out at TCO at all this week? Yeah, heading out there Tuesday. They'll have their first press conferences. Wednesday, their first practice. And Saturday, the fans will be invited for the first time. Now, remember, there's the ramp-up period, and and they can't wear pads for the first few days. So it's not going to be quite all in yet, but it's going to build up to that first preseason game in in just a couple couple weeks. Unbelievable. And then uh, joint practices, too, coming in in about four weeks with the 